Hello, my name is Warala Ogamoa and I studied illustration at the University of Oslo. My crazy project is called Afrostigma Mental Health and it aims to shed light on the critical issues of mental health and the lack of care in some African countries, which is often considered a taboo over there. <laughs> the concept came from my pet own personal experience battling with mental health and also the history of African mass. Mental health problems are still stigmatized in many cultures and communities, particularly in some African countries. This stigma has resulted in countless individuals from young, from all ages, suffering in silence without being able to seek, seek support or talk about their issues openly. My project aims to challenge the stigma surrounding mental health. I looked at countries like Nigeria, Kenya, South Africa, South Sudan, and many more. And they all have rich history of African masks figu and figurines. They have served different purposes like representing strength, power, or respect, or even rituals for better health and faith was inspired by this rich cultural heritage and wanted to redefine the purpose of and meaning behind African masks by linking them to mental health. The reimagining involved using new techniques like digital software, and like 3D software and printing to modernize the design process because African masks are usually made with clay or metal or wood. In the beginning stages, I did a lot of experimentation from collage to screen printing my book to working with clay. And I did a lot of clay work and later transitioned to digitally sculpting, sculpting my masks like this. I designed them in an ergonomic way that has a dent in them for finger support. So it's very comfortable to hold and admire. <laughs> Oh, I want people to feel inspired and empowered by my mask and the culture history behind them. I spent about 80% of my time working on this project at the Digital Studios 3D Workshop and Library at my university. I wanted to illustrate this message of Afrostigma Mental Health by making an editorial concertina book and five unique 3D printed masks. The book features, features a series of pattern images and facts about mental health problems in different African countries. On, and it shows this on the cover and back cover, as well as the first page in the book. Um, I wanted to show these facts in a way that it makes it hard for the viewer to understand, kind of like a challenge for them to decipher. This is to represent how mental health issues in Africa are so much and so many and also complicated to deal with because of the little awareness or service dedicated to the community. Overall, I wanted to redefine the purpose of African masks using my own way and I want to hope to contribute to the much needed conversation about mental health in African communities with my book and to raise awareness and break the stigma and create a space where individuals can share their struggles openly and feel empowered about their experience with mental health as well.